Diao Chan and the others overwhelmed Xia Pi and found temporary shelter there. At the same time, Cao Cao dealt with the remnants of Dong Zhuo's forces and held the Emperor Xi'an. He also took in Liu Bei, who had fled Xia Pi and was convinced that his next target would have to be Lu Bu. While Lu Bu was strong enough to face Cao Cao's army on his own, he could not risk fighting against the one who held the Emperor. Lu Bu's general, Chen Gang, told the distraught Diao Chan that he would find a way out in the land to the south. I'm telling you, they seized the Emperor while I was away! How dare you accuse me when they are the traitors! Forgive me, but what evidence do we have to prove that? He fought for the Imperial Han. How can they call you a traitor to the Imperial Court? It's shameful. An insult. <sighs> do you know what can be done about this? Do you? I suggest that we find a way to prove your loyalty. I have a thought. It is rumored that soon Jian has taken the Imperial Seal. You would be serving the court to return it. I believe such an act would benefit you. Yes, that's it. Retrieve the seal. Get it back from the hands of Sun Jian. Hmm. You agree that I should do this. So I'll pay a little visit to Sun Jian. Let's go! The Outcast would love to have the Imperial Seal at Sun Jian hold! Yeah. Oh, they're even stronger than I thought! Stop and yeah. face me if you dare! Someday repay this disgrace in time. See, I'm more than just a pretty face. See, I'm more than just a pretty face.
by yourself? No. No name. I'll forget you anyway. Just a 
mistakes. Amazing! We will have to display our strength as well. Help! 
prepare you for truth. So you have come this far? I shall face you in battle. The gods of this! Thank you for coming to our aid. I cannot allow you to kill me. See? I'm more than just a pretty face. You vermin! You have no chance against me! Sunjiar! Hand over the Imperial Seal at once! I shall honor my father's will. <laughs>